Kelsey, what's up? Welcome back. Today, this might be a video I might regret filming, but I'm in the mood to do some kind of challenge. Like, like a try not to challenge. So I'm like, what can I do that is very entertaining for my viewers to watch? And probably you'll get a kick of seeing how I react. <laughs> and I figured, let's do a try not to get scared challenge. <laughs> I get scared very, very easily because they're like, that's one of the reasons I don't watch scary movies because I'm a wimp. <laughs> so apparently, which there are something called like PSA announcements, like this are some, I can't talk today. There are some dark, and I mean dark public service announcements from all over the world, found a channel on YouTube and they do like compilations of these PSA announcements. PSAs. I don't know why I keep saying announcements. The A stands for announcement. Anyway, we're going to watch the top 50 scariest PSAs. Wish me luck. Okay. At least it came with the- At least it came with some kind of warning. Disclaimer. That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for, disclaimer. Be actually, before I start, because I'm going to make get a little notebook ready so I can keep track of how many times I get scared throughout this video, if I get scared, you don't know. Basically, I can't jump, I can't make any noise, that represents fear. So, what should we like? I'm just going to grab a pencil, or a pen. I'll use a pencil. Anyway, now we can continue. The intro's- the intro's even spooky. Okay, I did kind of jump for a second, so... I'm gonna be put- <laughs> We barely even started yet. I jumped at the intro. The glass just shattered, you got this music, and like... We didn't even start the challenge yet. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna count that one. Cause we didn't even start. Okay, that's one. House Hippo from Canada. Okay, this one's apparently not that scary. It's only one out of ten. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. All is quiet. Aw, kitty. It? The what North the heck American was that? House oh, yeah, it's a house hippo. It's found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen. But they will defend their territory if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. The favorite foods of the house hippo are chips, raisins, and the crumbs from peanut butter on toast. They build their nests in bedroom closets using lost mittens, dryer lint, and bits of string. The nests have to be very soft and warm. House hippos sleep about 16 hours a day. That looked really real but you knew it couldn't be true didn't you that's why it's good to think about what you're watching on tv and ask questions kind of like you just did a message from concerned children's advertisers that one actually did not scare me at all which is great we're off to somewhat of a great start but i do get what they're trying to do they're trying to say don't believe everything you read or everything you hear because it may not be true but that was actually a really good advertisement let's get to the next one don't, don't you put it in your mouth. Why am I having a hard time talking today? Why do you oh think boy. your mommy or daddy are always telling you, don't put that in your mouth? Let's find out. Hi, Hi. kids. Why are we on television anyway? We're here to tell a little story about why you shouldn't put things into your mouth when you don't know what they are. And why you should never take anything a stranger tries to give you. Why not? Because if you ate somebody else's medicine, some bad food, these or some puppets poison, are kind of creepy. You could get very sick. Ugh, I don't want to be sick. And that's why before you eat anything, <laughs> so you should creepy. always ask someone you love if it's okay. Okay, I love you. Can I eat the guitar? No. Oh. But but you can help me sing a song about eating things that don't belong inside you. Okay. I wasn't really hungry anyway. Well, wait, maybe a little bit. Okay, everybody. If you see something that you want to eat before you do Are anything, they gonna say? remember this song. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you stuff it in your face. 
don't stop it in your face. So it might look good to eat. So it might look good to eat. And it might look good to taste. And it might look good to taste. You could get sick. Yuck. Real quick. Yuck. Real sick. Real ick. Don't you put it in your I mouth. I get what you're trying to do for sure. Tell you ask someone you love. But well, could you make the puppets less if creepy? It's okay to eat. If it's okay to eat, like a muffin or a bee. Like a muffin or a bee. If you don't know just what it is. Remember, boys and girls. Don't put it in your mouth. Hey, what am I doing? I don't even like beets. Then don't put it in your mouth. Bye-bye, everyone. Remember, boys and girls, never take anything from a stranger and don't put things in your mouth when you don't know what they are. If you eat somebody else's medicine or some bad food or some poison, you could get very sick. Yeah. Always ask someone you love before you put anything in your mouth. I get what they were trying to do, but the puppets could have been designed a little differently. What's this? From the Canadian Heart and Stroke Foundation. Well, now we're on level two. Now I'm worried. First two videos weren't that bad. What will your last 10 years look like? Will you be quick enough for a game of tag with your grandchild? Strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality? Or get old with disease. Oh my god. I'm not scared now. I'm just really sad. It's time to decide. The average Canadian will spend their last 10 years in sickness. Change your future at makehealthlast.ca. That was not scary. That was just that was just straight up sad. VD is for everybody. This looks like an older advertisement. Is for everybody, not just for the few. Anyone can share VD with someone nice as you. VD is for everybody. If you're curious or confused, get information or a pamphlet at most pharmacies or a health clinic. If you need help, see a doctor. Hmm. MTV Switch from Portugal. Hmm. The Earth is warming faster than any time in the past. 10,000 years. The 1990s was the warmest decade on global record. Wow. Concentration of greenhouse gas is the highest in 20 million years. 40% of Arctic ice has gone since the 1970s.
be taking this stuff more seriously, that's for sure. Clint Eastwood, just say no. Ooh, this one's from the US in the 80s. 80s was a wild time, though. See this cute little vial here? It's crack, rock cocaine, the most addictive form. You think it's the glamour drug of the 80s? Well, that's the point of this fronted little reminder. It can kill you. And if you've got to die for something, this sure as hell ain't it. No, that's a good message. Like, don't, basically in other words, don't be stupid and don't do drugs. Don't even think about trying it. Exactly. Good job, man. Hip choice? Uh, this is a children's one. Hey, you ever thought about taking drugs? Oh my god, more creepy puppets. I don't know. Well, I never really thought about it. Things are. The first hit's free, but you find. When you're getting you kids involved asking them if they want to take drugs, it's like, no, don't do it. It's your. What do you think? Nah, this drug's not worth the time. There you go. A message from Concerned Children's Advertising. Okay, that was a little scary, so I'm gonna mark that. Friends. Oh, okay, another one from the U.S. I'm really tight with my friends. Oh, no. We do everything together. And whatever happens, they look out for me. They just, oh my god. So it looks like the friend overdosed in the car. And they just dropped her off and left her there. That's horrible. Tick, tick, tick. 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 Massive tick. heat tick. waves. Heat waves. Tick. Severe droughts. Tick. 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 Devastating. Tick. Devastating tick. hurricanes. Tick. 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 Our future tick. Tick. is up. Tick. 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 To you. Go to fightglobalwarming.com while there's still time. Okay, I feel uncomfortable. Great, now we're on level four. Oh. I love my boyfriend. We've been together since like eighth grade. He's my best friend. He takes care of me. <laughs> he looks like he's up to no good. Cleaning girl. Partnership with or another one about drugs, okay. Look at me, busy as a bee. Where'd I get all this energy? Oh man, mm, man. I don't sleep and I don't eat, but I've got the cleanest house on the street. Oh man, mm, oh. man. Get these hairs all out of my face. Get these bugs all out of my place. One more hit, no time to waste. Oh, oh my man. god. Mm, Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of scared me a little bit. So, that's number four. We're not doing so good at the moment. We're not doing good. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna try meth just once. No! I'm gonna smoke this just once. I'm gonna steal just once. No! I'm going to sleep with him for meth just once. I'm going to try math. No, no, no. We're not even halfway through this yet. Global warming. Some say irreversible consequences are 30 years away. 30 years? Oh, that won't God, affect oh, me. God. Scare me, so I'm just gonna tally that. Sisters. Hey guys. 
You can do anything you want to me for 50 bucks. Well, what about her? Sure. This isn't normal. No. But on that, it is. scare me but it was kind of like eerie so yeah okay we got a welder i'm working overtime because i want to take my family on a nice vacation soon they get a call telling them i was killed in an accident but hey oh, no. i'm wearing a busted harness here and the company should have checked those tanks to Intense. I've seen oh, hundreds of accidents on the freeway, and uh, cars have been totaled, and uh, people just uh, walked away from them. Without One driver in four is involved in an auto accident each year. Oh, I, uh, I, I, I couldn't be bothered. They're, they're, they're too confining. I suppose the day doesn't go by that I don't get in the And many of the ones who had accidents also had good excuses for not wearing safety belts. Uh, I don't know. This I is never used them just to go shopping. Where are your seatbelt my dress. Oh my God. Some excuses are good for broken bones and skull fractures. Around town, they feel uncomfortable. And I like to relax when I drive. Wow. There are a million and one excuses for not wearing safety belts. Some are real killers. Wear your seatbelt. Like, people, wear your seatbelt, seriously. Accidents can be prevented if y'all drive safe and wear seatbelts. That guy. I'm only gonna try meth once. I'm, oh, another I'm not gonna be like that guy. Hey, look, I'm only gonna smoke meth once. I'm not gonna what? be like that guy. The thing is, like, once you look, try Look, I'm just gonna things, shoot up just, just once, all right? I'm not gonna be it, like that hooked. guy. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be like that guy. Oh, I'm my God. Gonna do my things. How about you don't do it at all? I'm not going to end up like that guy. Pee-wee. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but, like, what? Okay. This is crack. Oh, I thought they meant Pee Wee Herman. It isn't glamorous or cool or kid stuff. No, it's the most it's addictive not kind of cocaine, and it can kill you. What's really bad is nobody knows how much it takes. Mm -hmm. So every time you use it, you risk dying. Yup. It isn't worth it. Look, everybody wants to be cool, but doing it with crack isn't just wrong could be dead wrong. Don't even try it. There you go. Yup. That was a good message. Like, don't even think about trying it in the first place. Shadows. What are all these about? Why are these half of these about the same thing? Oh, no. Get her out there. This isn't normal. No. 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 But on meth? No. Who are you? It is. I'll kill you. That is another tally. Okay, we got another teenager, it looks like. So I get along all right with my parents. I mean, they're pretty cool. Looks like he got kicked out of the house. And I know they trust me. You know, they trust me. Oh my God! Those screams just like 
send shivers down my spine. The way he was screaming, it's like, whoa. This is your brain. Okay. And this is heroin. Okay, so we got a heroin PSA. Brain. After snorting heroin. Yep, this that's where your brain goes. That's what your body goes through. And your body, Wait. I should have said that. It's not over yet. This is what your family goes through. And your friends and It's not easy for anybody. Like, if that's someone does something future. like this, it's like... It affects not only yourself, but it affects the others or, like other people around you that you're close with. It affects anybody that you know. But that was intense. I'm gonna mark that because that kind of scared me. Get out! Get out! This isn't normal. But on that, it is. Again, don't do drugs. Oh, yeah, I'm really yeah, close yeah. with my mom. Okay. I always have been. John, what are you doing? Nothing. No, what is Nothing. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. No, said, leave me alone. Just shut up. Oh, She's just always no, been there for me. No, no, please. No, you're going to I don't know. Go. She's my mom. That didn't scare me, but that just made me sad. It re oh no, no. Oh, this was actually from. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nowhere in the corridors of pale green and gray. Nowhere in the suburbs in the cold light of day. There in the midst of it, so alive and alone. Words support like bone. Dreaming of mercy. Oh my stream. Where you're inside out. Dreaming of mercy. Okay, so for those of you who have gone through, like, are victims of any of this, or have known anyone who's been through any of these things that these PSAs are mentioning, I am very sorry. I'm sure it's not easy. Hopefully things will get better for not only yourself or whoever is affected, but just for the per just for everybody. Like this honestly just made me really sad, this PSA. Like it like it's sad to see that people go through this. Sometimes they're taken serious, other times they're not. Which we should be able to take these things seriously, but some people just don't. Cause some people are cruel. Anyway. Looks like a bunch of teenagers watching TV. Oh my god. This isn't normal. Oh my god. But on meth, it is. Again. For the billionth time, don't do it. Don't even think about trying it. Hey, Jim! It's okay, a let's get it! Yeah. Oh, 911! We got an accident here! This was no accident. The company knows it's against code to store that much weight up there. I knew I should have been focused on what I was doing. And it's obvious the supervisor didn't report that broken shelf. That could have easily been prevented big time. Another 
another party. Hey, what about me? Hey, what about you? Oh, come on. Give her some. Yeah, give me some. All right, all right. No. You want meth, kid? Here's your meth. And here's your meth dealer. And your meth boyfriends. <laughs> and your meth baby. And don't forget your meth face. Council from 1983. Another one. Of, we're on level six. Just, just, okay, just give me a talk about it. I've got to go home. Oh, come on, Carrie. Don't we're going to a new place. She wants to go home, right? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, hold it. Whoa. Are you okay to drive? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Relax. What's a few beers? If you don't stop your friend from drinking and driving, don't. You're as good as this dead. This is how accidents. Drinking and driving can kill a friendship. I don't know who Rodney is, but we'll see. This is my friend Rodney. Hi, Rodney. This is my friend Rodney on heroin. Oh, my God. This is Rodney on heroin. Rodney on heroin. Looks like, the, uh, looks Rodney like a mugshot. Rodney on heroin. Rodney on heroin. Rodney. That was my friend, Rodney. Oh my God. Ooh, excuse me. Jumped. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> Wish I'd taken that shortcut through that empty parking on, lot. Wish I'd gotten jumped. I wish they'd broken my ribs. Get up. Get up. Put me in a hospital. Yeah, mess them up. No. But didn't get jumped. I went to that party. I did meth for the first time. Now, all I do is meth. All I do is meth. Oh, geez. And this one's from Canada, too. He has some re really weird ads from Canada you already. Have a job on your picture. Your coffee. Please. She spilled my coffee. I'm sorry, sir. You fucking bitch. I'll bring a little coffee. How do you like that? You wouldn't get away with it here. No. You won't get away with that it at is home. Very unacceptable behavior. Like that is like. It's sad to see, like, some men are like this, or any, or vice versa. I wish my tire had blown out that night. I wish my car had off the road. I wish I'd broken my neck. I wish I'd been crippled. But I didn't crash. I drove to that party, and I did meth for the first time. Again! I did meth, and now this is my life. This is my life. Like I said, if you try something like this, like, you're going to get hooked on it real fast. It's hard to break away from that addiction. Oh my God. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet. A place where animals play. It's called the forest. But every year we start forest fires. A careless okay, match, a cigarette, and poof, ad. fire. Mm -hmm. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful. Okay? Yes. Oh. <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? <laughs> Just be smart. Like, don't be dumb. Think. Use your common sense. 
that ladder years ago. That was a nasty I shouldn't have reached fall. over like that. That legit made me jump. And why yeah. isn't there a strict policy about two people doing a job like this? Mm-hmm. That could have all been prevented. And that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Grotesque. From the Czech Republic. Okay. <laughs> is no joke. Two or three dead and hundreds injured every day in a country as small as this is no joke at all. Too many people in the car obscuring the driver's view is one of the most common causes of accidents. James was with our company for 10 years uh, before this tragic cool. accident. Oh. You... Whoa, whoa. Accident? Oh. What are you talking about? Your company never fully trained me to deal with high voltage wires. And the way they were insulated, it was obvious someone wanted to get home in a hurry. Oh my God. What was I thinking? Not wearing all of my safety equipment. Again, another work accident that could be prevented if people are more cautious. Bakery. Hmm. Ooh, Australia. Okay. Hi. Uh, poppy seed loaf, please. <laughs> poppy seed, poppy seed, poppy seed. Where is uh, it? Uh, poppy seed. Over there. What? Oh, poppy seed's a black idiot. Oh, can I get that slice? Thick. Slice. What does she say? It's okay. I can, I can do it. No, no. It's... Oh, shit. That's thin. <laughs> I don't know if they showed anything because I was scared and I looked hey, away real fast. Hey, send your mom and daddy out of the room. I gotta get you up on this. You know who I am. Snake. Dealing in weed, coke, crack. Your choice. Take one hit and you'll do anything to cop more. Steal from your mama. Lie. Cheat on your homeboys. But hey, that's the price you pay when you deal with dudes like me. Now, some folks will tell you that I'm dealing in poison. But hey, do I look like the kind of guy that would do that to a kid like you? Yes. I'm not doing good at this challenge. I'm telling you that right now. I'm not doing well. It's a laundromat, okay? Give me money. Give me money. I don't have any money. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Stop looking at me! <laughs> This wasn't supposed to be your life! Another tally. 
We're on number nine. We're almost done. Thank you. Oh, oh, catch him. Have you moved that pot of stock yet? Pot? How many that big money? Oh no, Massive. oh no, that looks heavy. Don't do it, please. No. Close. The wet. Oh yuck. Don't oh my don't please no please. Guinea pig from Singapore. Okay. No one knows how much brain damage the designer drug ecstasy causes. It's still being tested. Oh my god. Take ecstasy. And you're the guinea pig. Yup. You're basically a guinea pig at that point. You're just like someone's experiment. Like, don't do it. Oh god, this is gonna this is gonna get dark, I feel like. Grim Reaper. First, only gays and IV drug users were being killed by AIDS. But now we know every one of us could be devastated by it. The fact is, over 50,000 men, women and children now carry the AIDS virus. That in three years, nearly 2,000 of us will be dead. That if not stopped, it could kill more Australians than World War II. But AIDS can be stopped and you can help stop it. If you have sex, have just one safe partner or always use condoms, always. dark super fast yeah oh, my parents think i'm sleeping at your house yeah i'm just jumping in the shower okay bye okay what's happening huh oh. Hello. <laughs> don't do it don't do it <laughs> chef in another one from Canada. Oh no, this is number eight on the scare factor. I'm the sous chef here. With any luck, I should be head chef by next year. Hmm. I've got this amazing fiance. Aww. Who I won't be marrying this weekend. Because I'm about to be in a terrible accident. But really, I should have cleaned up the grease over there. And they should never put the deep fryer so close. <laughs> say she was should have cleaned up the grease I knew something was gonna happen I had a feeling it's easy to hide from the monsters under the bed in the closet. We have to stop hiding from the real monsters. Oh no. Anything involving children is like, like if you have the nerve to like that to a child, you're sick in the head. 
If the driver of this car had kept his speed to 100k, here's where he would have stopped. If he'd stopped here, his wife wouldn't take the full impact of the crash and die instantly. If he'd stopped here, the last thing Sally will ever hear wouldn't be the sound of her own neck breaking. And Nikki wouldn't break several ribs and her collarbone. As for Jim, well, Jim could have avoided broken bones and a broken heart. But anyway, it's too late for all that now, because this isn't where it stops. It's where it all begins. Thank God we're almost done, because I don't know how much more I can take. If you don't tell your children about the danger of drugs, you may find a problem staring you right in the face. A problem that won't go away. Or even worse, one that does. Uh, this is the last one. And we're on 10 out of 10. I am terrified. Okay. If this is... Oh, no. I... Don't know if I like where this is going. Oh! What the heck is that? G. That was a lot. <laughs> Thank God we're done with reacting to this. Cause let's see. Here's my tally sheet. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see. let's add up how many times I got scared or uncomfortable or just jumped. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 31 times in this 40 minute video. 31 people. This was not fun. I hated this so much. It's just a sad reality that this is what some people go through in life. Like, these are serious things that should be addressed. But, like, sometimes, I mean, I, I, get what, I guess what I get what they're trying to go at. Like, with, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, spreading the message. Being self-aware. Basically, they're telling you, like, be smart. Use common sense, keep yourself and your loved ones safe, and just make smart decisions. Or else you're going to end up like those people that were featured in the, those, uh, PS, the PSAs. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am a little bit traumatized from those ads. I'm not traumatized, I'm exaggerating just a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to just edit this now and... Yep, I'm just going to listen to some music. Hopefully get all that imagery out of my head. If you guys love, if you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more of me trying not to get scared or any reaction videos you guys want me to see, let me know in the comments. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Also, check me out on my social media. My account names will be down below. Love you guys. See you next time.